Well, hey everyone, this is Norman, and we're here at the end of week six of the legislative session. It's a nine-week session, just finished up week six, and as you'll notice, I'm running by my lonesome today. Debbie Pease left yesterday morning um, to go help with the delivery of her newest grandchild. I called her this morning just to check in, see where things were at. She said, Norman, right now I'm holding little baby Theo. So Debbie's really happy right now to be welcoming her new grandchild into the world. So I'm running by my lonesome on today's update, but I just want to talk to you about six bills real quick. So first we'll start with House Bill 1148. This was up on committee on Tuesday, and 1148 basically requires that an annual report be filed from any facility that handles or creates human embryos on how many of those embryos they destroyed or discarded. We just want to know the number so we can keep track for record keeping purposes. Then we also had Senate Bill 183. What Senate Bill 183 says is that any contract that has a clause that could be used to force or coerce a woman into an abortion, the co that clause of the contract will be held as void. There's contracts we've found here in the state that when you read through them you can clearly see that's the purpose of this aspect of that contract, is that there may be a situation where um, the other party in the contract will be looking to coerce a woman into an abortion. Senate Bill 183 says those clauses cannot be put in contracts and will be held as void. So next we move on to Wednesday. We started off in the morning with House Bill 1110. This is the Governor's Down Syndrome Bill. Um, a bunch of awesome testimony from individuals with Down Syndrome, parents who have children. Um, it's obviously testimony from the Governor's Office because she's the one who brought this idea forward. And one little highlight for me um, that morning, I'll show a picture here to everybody, but um, Tucker Blaine walked in the room, and it was fun to see Tucker there. We used to be in a 4-H club back together back in the day, and I was able to attend a couple of his Tucker Day rodeos and watch. It was really fun to see Tucker that day. Hospital 1110 passed out of committee unanimous and heads towards the House floor. Also on Wednesday, we had Senate Bill 177. 177 is the homeschool bill. Um, after a really good debate on the Senate floor, we knew the vote was going to be close, and it ended up being close. It was 21 to 14, um, so that was awesome to see Senate Bill 177 pass off the Senate floor. Again, that's the bill related to homeschooling that makes major updates on testing, ac participation in activities, and notification. So Senate Bill 177 now heads over to the House side, and as I'm recording this video, our web developer is working on the, the email campaign updates, so by the time you're watching this video, you're probably going to be able to go to fhaaction.org and click our email campaign to send an email on 177. Next, we'll look ahead to next week, and Monday morning we're going to get things kicked off right away, fast, bright, and early with 1217. House Bill 1217 is the Protecting Women's Sports Bill, brought by Senator Sutton and Representative Milstad, basically saying that participation in sports teams will be determined by biological sex in an effort to protect women's sports. And the most important voices on this topic for protecting women's sports are going to be women's voices. So if you have a story to tell, if you have um, passions and convictions on this issue, reach out to us, reach out to your representatives, they need to hear from you. Um, this is going to be a heavy lift starting Monday morning, House Bill 1217, Protecting Women's Sports. And then finally, we'll talk about House Bill 1247, also Monday morning, protecting the conscience rights of doctors. It basically protects a doctor's ability to abstain from certain treatments or procedures if, in their ethical judgment, it's harmful to the patient. Basically, putting protections in place to let doctors honor their promise and their oath to do no harm. Again, House Bill 1247, protecting the conscience rights of doctors and giving them further ability to honor their promise to do no harm and follow their ethical convictions when treating patients. So 1217 and 1247 will both be up Monday morning and you can see all of these bills I've mentioned today as well as about 16 or 17 others that we're working on on our legislative radar fhaaction.org and you can see all of our other updates and videos there as well. So we'll talk to you next week. Thanks guys.